I am always on the quest for a new cookie recipe. And when I go online, I search out Christmas cookies or holiday cookies so I can find something different. And invariably, all I ever find is sugar cookies that are decorated with, you know, frosting and they're pretty angels or they're stars. And those are great. They're wonderful cookies. But I want something different. I want my cookie tray to have different things on them. A number of years ago, I came across this recipe. I say a number of years ago. It's at least 30 years ago that I came across this recipe. And I made them and I brought them to work one day. And there was a friend of mine there who is Lebanese. She loved them. I mean, a lot of people loved them, but she really loved them because they had dates in them. And I don't even know the name of this recipe, and so we nicknamed them date thingies, for want of a better word. Now, if you don't know what a date is, they're these shriveled up fruits that are all over the Mediterranean area, and they are absolutely delicious. I like to just eat one of these, pop them in my mouth in the middle of the afternoon. They're just so delicious. For this recipe, we're going to cut them in half, lengthwise. And I've cut a few in half. I'm not going to cut too many more. I'm going to put these aside because that's our middle. And what I have here is two and one quarter cups of flour. I've got half a teaspoon of salt. And in here I have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I'll put those together. And I'm going to use a whisk. And by whisking, I'm aerating the flour, mixing them through, so you don't really have to use a sieve. You can if you want to, but I just use my little whisk. All right, flour is put to the side. The other ingredients we have, one cup of butter, which is two softened sticks. Mine kind of exploded a little bit, but believe me, they're, they're fine. And they are softened, so get those in there. And I have a half a cup of light brown sugar, and that's going to go in there. And I'm going to start mixing these up. The other ingredients before I start mixing is a teaspoon of vanilla and two eggs separated. Um, I have the yolks and I have the whites. The whites are going to be used to coat the outside of the cookies, and then they're rolled in nuts. So we'll put those aside. And let's start mixing our cookie dough. And by the way, I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees, which you'll probably hear it go off in a few minutes. And I'm going to let this cream. And I'm going to add my vanilla. And I'm going to add my two yolks. Just let those combine well. I like to frequently scrape down the sides, making sure everything gets mixed well. I really love this cookie. It's, it's not overly sweet, and a lot of people are going to say, oh, dates, but try it, and maybe you'll become a convert. After that, it was after this cookie that I became a real convert to dates, and I love them. Okay, now I'll gradually start adding all my flour. It's kind of nice though, you have these cookies on a platter and you have people over and somebody picks one of these up and they bite it and they look on their face, but they say, what is that? It's so good, what is it? It's like a giant raisin, but it's not a raisin. It doesn't taste like a raisin. Okay, the rest of the flour in. Just let that all combine nicely. Good. And there we go. And there's my oven. Okay, let's get the mixer out of here. All of my dough off. Okay. 
Now we're ready to form our cookies. I'm gonna take a piece of dough, it's about a little bit smaller than a walnut, and I make it into a round and I kind of pat it out. I take a half of my date slice, put that in, and now cover it up. So you have a kind of an elongated cookie. Then roll it in the whites, and then in the nuts. I have here, by the way, finely chopped pecans. Uh, I like the way they go with dates. Again, it's up to you what kind of nuts you wish to use. And when these are all done, they will go in that 350 degree oven and they will bake approximately eight to 10 minutes until they're just starting to turn a light brown and they're set when they're touched. So there's one tray of date thingies all made and ready to go into the oven, into my 350 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes. That one's for me. I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Here are our date thingies all done out of the oven and cooled. I thought I would show you what the inside of one of them looks like. And there you go, you've got a big piece of date on either side, and these are absolutely delicious. I hope you try them.